Greetings to all our attendees today, of which we've got representation from six of the seven continents. Uh, unfortunately, Antarctica wasn't one of them. Maybe next time. We've got a full agenda, so without further ado, let's get into it. So today we're going to explore the compelling reasons to change and what is the alternative cloud opportunity for MSPs, CSPs and channel partners. We'll take a look at cloud migration pitfalls and solutions uh, for service providers and end users and how high stacks and virtuoso make cloud migration fast, foolproof and also free. We'll gain insight into the real world experience of one of our leading partners, T-Line Technology. And to finish up, we'll have a Q&A where we will encourage you to uh, pose questions through the question tool to get answers to your queries and challenges. Uh, my name is Andy Pugh. I'm Director for Global Technology Alliances here at Virtuoso, and we work with innovative ISVs and vendors to bring new service offerings to our partners. I'm joined today by David Clouser, Virtuoso's VP for the Americas and the driving force behind many of our alliance partnerships. We also have Edwin Cust, Global Sales Director for Highstacks, the technology uh, behind our cloud migration services. And last but by no means least, Carlos, uh, Carlos Pino, who's the CEO of T-Line Technologies, a leading cloud provider for the Americas and a tremendous Virtuoso partner in the journey to the alternative cloud. Um, so, David, what, tell us a little bit about uh, Virtuoso and why partners should care. Sure. Thanks, Andy. I just want to confirm uh, audio coming across okay. Yes? Indeed. All right, great. Well, uh, thanks again uh, for the global uh, audience who was able to join us live today, uh, six of the seven continents, and it looks like over 39, maybe 40. Uh, different countries. So we truly do value your time. We know how busy you are and we hope to of course make the most of your time and to the hundreds and the thousands that will be listening to this uh, on playback. Thank you uh, as well for your time. And realize we've got not just a global audience but a diverse audience. Many of you existing virtuoso partners but also those who may be considering a partnership with virtuoso. Um, so let me tell you quickly a little bit about Virtuoso. And, and by the way, Andy, I'm hearing a little bit of echo. I, I don't know if our attendees are. Uh, I'll continue um, just uh, to mention that quickly. So for those who may not be uh, updated uh, uh, of who Virtuoso is, or maybe you haven't spoke with uh, Virtuoso in the last several years, Virtuoso's actually been around for more than 20 years. And we are a global leader of infrastructure, and cloud platform solutions that has a very proud maturity over the last couple decades from being pioneers in the container virtualization space, which to this day is adopted by widespread global hosters to have the ultimate in density, performance, scale, and features to be able to continue to dominate and to compete in the hosting world. But what's even more exciting is how virtuoso powering more than 700,000 workloads with more than 700 partners across the world with a continued domination and contribution in the OpenStack community has been able to evolve and to transform our portfolio to be able to become the premier provider for the entire cloud platform stack for service providers cloud service providers, managed service providers, hosting service providers, ISVs, and of course, most importantly, they and many uh, of your customers. More than 300 uh, employees, global coverage, a phenomenal global support team, and most of all, the ability to support you and to help you accelerate time to market. Next slide. So that's a little bit about the DNA and the evolution and the maturity of Virtuoso, but why Virtuoso? Why would you want to partner with us in our modern day with our modern 2.0 cloud platform stack? Well, it's because we were born and developed for the service provider 
And that is never more prevalent and stronger today, where we are passionate about being able to provide the ultimate easy use designed specifically for you to be able to complement, not replace, to be able to complement what you're already doing, to be able to not just adopt and deploy, monetize, leverage, and alternative cloud, but to be able to make your hybrid cloud and your multi-cloud journey as seamless, simple, profitable as, as uh, possible. Of course, with the fastest time to market, the lowest costs and the most profitability. Next slide. So when we say we power the alternative cloud, what do we really mean by that? And what is the industry's view on that? If we look at the global cloud infrastructure market, whether it's Gartner, 451, other analysts here, you could see, you know, we're referencing Gartner. Uh, the, there is a global cloud infrastructure market that is being deployed and consumed by the hyperscalers, but on average, 20 to 30% of that is going to be deployed, adopted, and consumed by an alternative cloud. A cloud that is either going to be built on OpenStack, going to be built on an enterprise solution, uh, or is going to be built production ready with the Virtuoso platform. You can see here alternative cloud being adopted by local CSPs, MSPs to help you be able to get to market with a profitable solution across IaaS, PaaS, and, and really anything uh, as a service. To be able to help you sell cloud and to begin to truly monetize it with lowering costs. I mean, we hear from a lot of our service providers how their enterprise clients given the economic climate today, the inflationary uh, climate that we're facing, are, are demanding. They've got to lower their fully managed IS costs 25, 30, 35%. And it's just not possible using the traditional tool sets or relying on the hyperscalers. So that's something that we're really excited about. And the biggest takeaway as we talk about alternative cloud through this is again, it's in addition to, not necessarily in place of, it's to first complement what you're doing to help you better serve your customers, to expand your market share, to maybe capture pass DevSecOps or other business and use cases that you may not be capturing today. And then once you've developed a cloud maturity with Virtuoso to then look at what is the most profitable and optimal workload placement for you and for your customers. Next slide. So we've mentioned some of this, but what are the options that our service providers are facing? What, what at the end of the day, what are the options? If you need to serve your customers to be able to provide them a cloud, alternative cloud, well, you of course could turn to the hyperscalers where you are going to have potential challenges with cost unless you're leveraging all of them, vendor lock-in, challenges with support, or there are the traditional enterprise monolithic solutions that may to the state may be great for the enterprise, but are they really designed for you, the service provider with self-service and multi-tenancy and your and your customers' requirements um, in mind? The last option, and one of our guests, Carlos, CEO of T-Line, who's joining us today, he'll expand on this a little bit more later. But one of the last options that, of course, we see daily is, well, we could just build it ourselves. We've got a pretty good team, competent, strong. Let's just leverage the OpenStack components and modules that are out there, and let's just build it on our own. After all, there's a lot of freeware out there, free components. And for some companies, that's okay. But for a majority of the partners that we meet with, it's a 12 to 18 month time to market just for the initial dev cycle. And by then there's a lot of, um, uh, sorry, I just had a message pop up. Uh, is my audio still okay, Andy? Okay, good, all right. A 12 to 18 month deployment cycle, dev cycle, it's just unacceptable. So at the end of the day, 
Virtuoso provides the fourth option, which is leveraging the components of OpenStack, but giving you a mature production ready cloud platform with the fastest time to market, the lowest costs and maximum profitability. And again, with that stack maturity, with use cases that uh, would otherwise take uh, years to develop and to go to market. Next. And uh, we talk about some of the options that, that uh, customers are facing. And of course, uh, another real viable option here, and sometimes of course, is, is VMware. Um, but we, we hear from our partners, as we can see on uh, the latest slide, that, uh, look, that there's just a lot of uncertainty, okay? There are hundreds, I, let's say thousands, of service providers that have built their cloud and are supporting their customers using VMware, whether it's VCPP, multi-tenant or single-tenant which in itself creates uncertainty. And they are looking for another path to lower costs, to increase margins, to be able to have more uh, flexibility. But the, the, the biggest opportunity that this presents, both for Virtuoso and our partners, is the uncertainty. Broadcom has, has acquired them. There are certain uh, top line and profit commits that are made. Um, and we just see a lot of partners and a lot of customers who, again, are looking for an alternative in addition to at a minimum should we deploy a virtuoso powered alternative cloud so we can at least give our customers some stability and some options to consider as we navigate through this so thanks andy next slide okay so at the end of the day and what we hope you take away from this today is that virtuoso can bring this together regardless where you are on your cloud journey if you're a cloud service provider who is already offering some cloud services, we want to work with you to be able to expand and complement that. If you're a managed service provider who may or may not be offering your own branded cloud services, other brand cloud services today, we want to complement what you're doing, leverage our global ecosystem, and help you deploy and begin to monetize an alternative cloud, regardless if you are owning or managing your own infrastructure or not. And finally, if you're a small, medium to large enterprise who is interested in options you're gonna have for migrating workloads, uh, this is perfect for you as well. And when you hear shortly from Ed at Histex and, and Carlos, you're gonna see some unbelievable options that our tooling and our processes uh, have created for you to be able to bring the alternative cloud platform together. Again, production ready OpenStack designed for you, better, cheaper, more affordable for your customers. And of course, software defined. Next, Andy. So we talk about the desire for a better cloud is a reality in the demand, but what are some of the challenges and how do we overcome that? So uh, my pleasure to turn it over to Ed. Thank you, David. I also would like to thank all the audience and all the future listeners of the playback. Thanks for giving us your valuable time. So yes, uh, after David explained the benefits of the alternative cloud, but also all the Pass IS, uh, literally everything as a service you can get there. That's nice, but first you have to go there. So in order to use all these services, you have to move your workloads there. In other words, migrate. Uh, and this is what we are doing. Highstacks was founded in 2016 uh, with a focus on uh, migrations. We are in a market for more than 20 years in the cloud business, doing disaster recovery as a service and stuff. And if you do disaster recovery, you also know how to do migration as it's a very similar flow. And then we decided to focus just on the migration part and uh, working via partners. And as you can see, in the meantime, we did more than 110,000 migrations, 30,000 machines are protected right now. We are also operating in more than 43 countries. Here you see some big uh, names, everyone knows. 
um, some uh, integrators, they like us because uh, we are uh, very flexible. We work on any source, on any target. And this is why the first column, telcos, we have a strong presence because we support OpenStack. Uh, we provide a fully automated migration solution to OpenStack. And as we know, the tool is based on OpenStack and this is why we partner together. Of course, you can also migrate manually with some set of tools or, 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 or scripts. Uh, which works well, but not if you have hundreds or thousands of uh, machines, then you do want a fully automated solution. And we are uh, one of three uh, providers of a fully automated solution to OpenStack. Cloud providers, ST-Line, like us as well. You see them. Carlos is going to tell more about what he's doing in the middle column. Uh, they all uh, sponsor us because uh, they are not in the migration business. So they want, as we're to also, their new customers to move their workloads as soon as possible into the cloud so that they can use the solutions. And so they say, this is our business. We're not in the migration business. But if we wait until the customer uh, starts moving workloads by himself, sometimes it can take a while because he just does not know how to do it. He's afraid of the complexity. And this is why they use high stakes. Next slide, please. And the cloud migration market is really still booming, which obviously is because of the clouds are still booming. So clouds uh, still grow by more or less the same amount, 25 to 30% per year. Uh, and uh, if someone is using a cloud, maybe he wants to use multi-clouds. Uh, so there are, there are a couple of trends which uh, will guarantee that for us that, there's, uh, that there will be a lot of migration still to come. You see uh, from 880 in uh, two years, three years ago to uh, uh, 515 billion in uh, the next uh, five years. So annual, annual CIGR is annual growth in of uh, almost five, uh, 25%. A big market. So pleasure to play this market with you. So why we developed Hisex? As I mentioned already, OpenStack is different, and uh, the big hyperscalers we all know them: AWS, Azure, GCP. They all have their own. Uh, cloud migration solutions, which also do the job if it's not too complex, uh, the migration. But for OpenStack, uh, there was no provider of a fully automated live migration solution. And uh, since um, OpenStack is not that, as I used to read uh, almost every year in the last years in, in LinkedIn and stuff, uh, we see Virtuoso how well they are doing. And uh, so uh, we needed to have a tool to also allow people to migrate into such alternative clouds because simply there's a demand for using these clouds. Next one. But as I mentioned, uh, there are challenges. Um, this is why um, people are not using clouds as much as they want because simply they think the whole migration process can be troublesome. And it's a matter of fact that this is true. Uh, Migration is not rocket science, no, but uh, a lot of people underestimate the complexity. The devil as so often sits in the detail. Number one is of course also the cost uh, to change and uh, the migration costs uh, often overweigh the short term ROE, uh, the times and resources you need. So even if you are a smart cloud source provider with a nice uh, team, nevertheless, uh, you have to dedicate some people to do this job and they could do something else in between in the meantime. Yep. Next. And also for cloud users. So the cloud source providers have issues. It's not their business simply. They're not experts on migration. And then the cloud users themselves, the same reason, they also need to allocate resources. So we have, of course, some nice enterprise customers with very strong and, and tech savvy and skilled uh, IT departments. But not all of them are very cloud experienced. That's not the same IT and cloud. And also, they need to allocate resources to run a POC first, do test migrations, and uh, and check this out. And then also, if it doesn't look like the perfect solution, then they need to well, be able to roll back and uh, start all over again. So, uh, as mentioned, cloud migration expertise. If they never migrated before, if they never used the cloud, where should this migration expertise should come from? And uh, of course, downtime during the cutover. Uh, this is not really uh, what people fancy. Downtime, you know, all these one minute of AWS cost them like 100 million of dollars downtime. So, of course, downtime is very crucial. 
Next. And the solution, obviously, is to use a provider of a fully automated live cloud migration solution like Highstacks, because we take away, away the uncertainty. And uh, David, did you want to continue with the slide? Yeah, great job. Th thanks, Ed. Um, so j just a slide and a half here, and, and then we're going to bring uh, a T-line on. But, but this is what we are so excited to share with you today. For forget about the free migration for a minute. If you have a customer or if you are managing workloads of any kind, if you've got virtual machines in a hyperscaler, if they're in an enterprise, VMware, Nutanix, on-prem, OpenStack, okay, this is the tooling, the proven processes to truly be able to migrate any to any, or in this case, of course, any to your alternative cloud, any to Virtuoso's production ready open stack, where we've spent the time to perfect this. It's fast, it's stable, it's foolproof, you're going to soon find it's free, and of course, it's fully supported. And, and then specifically, what about your customers? It's one thing to work together to build your cloud and to be able to manage this, but for your customers, this is going to offer them the ultimate agility and it's going to help you accelerate cloud consumption and to be able to build migration as a service, migration as a utility into your overall marketing. So uh, at the end of the day, a proven powerful utility to really help accelerate consumption. And again, as a virtuoso partner, and you'll be provided an email at the end of this, we are offering you the ability to be able to leverage this tooling free as part of your virtuoso relationship. But enough about that for now. I want to introduce the CEO of T-Line because it was very important as we asked for your time and put this webinar together to be able to have Ed and I share with you a real life service provider who's been able to bring this all together. Who better to hear from and to learn from than one of your peers? So with that, I'll turn it over to the CEO of T-Line, Mr. Carlos Pino. Thank you very much, David, and thank you, Andy, for the invitation. Uh, I, it is a, a pleasure working with these two partners that they have impressive technology. I, I'm, I'm proud uh, to share my experiences with the audience. Um, and thank you for the time uh, to everybody that's joined, that were joining this call. Uh, basically, what we are, um, we are a regional company. We are based in Latin American region. Uh, historically, we were um, a hardware company. We became one of the largest Dell EMC resellers for the region. And a few years ago, we decided to go into the cloud. And everybody talks about the cloud. Everybody wants to move to the cloud. Nobody knows how to do it correctly. And we decided to create the set of tools to help our customers to, to do this migration through the process of the digital transformation. Next. And this is what we work on in the last few years. We, um, we took our um, the, the general status on uh, our customer base and we studied their problems. How could we bring new solutions for the problems? We found out there are not many options for, for the customer, our customers today. They are, only have four different doors like in a game on television, they have four doors to pick from. And our customers that they were living on-prem, they had two solutions, two options. Normally they are, they are virtualizing with VMware, which is probably over 90% of the, of the market on-prem, uh, or they can move to another hypervisor. Mm, VMware is going through, like David mentioned, through uh, transformation and uh, acquisitions. It's a lot of uncertainty. And customers don't know what is what the future is gonna gonna hold. We are actually um, given another alternative through uh, our virtuoso alliance. We can bring a, a, a different flavor for hypervisor. And with Histech, we can move everything that our customers are holding in in any uh, VMware cluster into our virtuoso OpenStack cluster. And that's where they are, you are playing on prem. You have. The option is staying with VMware, the option of move to a different flavor of hypervisor. Of hypervisor. 
the option on the cloud, you got another two doors. You Let's say you make the decision to move into the cloud. You can go to one of these hyperscalers and you're not gonna have much service. They are too crowded and too busy and the support is not there. And that I talk uh, for experience and, and talking to my customers, they are complaining all the time about their support. And, and the, the pricing is not any predictability on the pricing. Like Edwin was saying, one month is $5,000, next month is $15,000. We have an alternative for that type of customers that they made the decision to move into the cloud, but they don't wanna actually go into a one hyperscaler for, for the reasons I mentioned. They wanna go to a, a smaller alternative cloud, same technology, open stack technology, reliable, stable, uh, with better service normally are, uh, uh, these type of vendors or providers are local, they have the local service, and that's exactly where we are. Uh, we we made this transformation and we, we became a service provider and we are actually helping our customers to move into our solutions on the cloud. Next. And uh, what is our proposition? Everybody talks about digital transformation. Uh, I make this, this uh, experiment, I asked 100 customers, what is digital transformation to you? And I had 100 different definitions, meaning it's not a clear, uh, it's not, a, it's, it's basically a concept. It's, 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 a, it's not a concept, it's even a slogan. And what we realize is digital transformation is, is nothing new tech that is gonna come to transform any company and, and move into the digital world. We already in the digital, digital world. Uh, to us, digital transformation is to change the behavior for our customers to start and teaching our customers that the solution is using technology, not keep buying technology. And we are helping these customers to move all their loads into the cloud, our cloud or any other cloud if they, if they decide to. Um, everything is transformed from uh, CapEx to OpEx. The support is there 24 seven. Um, we are creating tools to make it really easy. Um, with, uh, with Virtuoso and with Histach, we can actually move from any environment, virtual environment to any virtual environment. And, and it's not complicated. It's the, the fear from a lot of customers that moving to the cloud is gonna be difficult, it's gonna be expensive, it's gonna be complicated. We are here to, to prove those customers wrong. It's not that complicated. The technology is there and the support is there. Next. Um, David and Edwin talked to service providers in, in the previous slides they were talking to service providers they, they were talking to companies like us um, I want to talk to the end user now now sitting in the chair of service provider what tools and what products and offerings are we putting together um, in our portfolio for our end users using virtuoso technology and his test technology we created this uh, this uh, portfolio of products, everything is cloud-based, everything is open stack, and we can offer from reservation, same quality, same performance, one third of the price from any hardware scaler, um, even more stability. We actually measure some uptime from the last few years in our um, clusters based on VMware, I'm sorry, based on uh, Virtuoso. And we actually gave more nines of reliability than some of the big hyperscalers in the last few years. And as a service provider, we put together this portfolio to help our customers to, to better their servicing, better their, their solutions and, and their uptime too. Next. And we're gonna talk about real life cases, real life stories. And we found a customer that was a, a big, uh, regional uh, package delivery company. And they actually were, they, they decided to move into the cloud a few years back and they were living in, uh, in a VMware environment. Their, their service provider was a, a VMware based service provider and they never had access to the, to the admin tools, the, to the vCenter. Like David mentioned, VMware was, a, it's, a, it's a great technology. We're not gonna say anything bad about technology, but it was not created for the, the multi-tenant cloud uh, base. It was, it was created for the single tenant on-prem uh, type of customer. 
uh, this customer had no access to the TV center. They have no visibility, no scalability. Um, they they were not reliable in terms of in terms of service, and they uh, approach us and ask us if we could move their loads into our uh, T-Line cloud, open stack based cloud. With his touch, we could do that. We could actually uh, migrate at, uh, at a hypervisor level, or or we can migrate at a, at a VM level with agents in every VMware. We will be able to bring all the the loads into our cloud and give them full access to their full tenant, to their full control. The, the migration was uh, long, but not complicated. The, the technology is there. And the only thing was just mm, uh, organize correctly the migration and then the process of rollout in the new, in the, our new cloud was easy. And that was one of the examples that we can help our customers to move into the cloud. The next customer, that was a customer, was a big uh, oil, um, gas and oil company, distribution company. They have ordered a lot of their production loads on Amazon. Their complaint was the same complaint that I hear every day. No support, there's nobody there to talk to. It's my, my billing is not predictable. I cannot verify if my uh, if my bandwidth and my consumption is correct or not, I just need to trust, trust them because I have no tools to verify if these hyperscalers are telling me the truth. And I am spending too much money. They ask us for help using his test technology. We migrate all their uh, AWS loads into our um, OpenStack cloud seamlessly. The customer is really, really happy. They, they are saving, probably they are paying about 25% today of what we were they were paying. Um, a year ago. Same service, uh, about 20% faster, I would say. They are, they are really happy with this, with this transition. So 75% so lower cost? Lower cost, correct. Maybe you're not charging enough. No. I mean, that's um, pretty massive. No. Yeah, but since, since we are local, we, are, we decided not to charge for bandwidth for downloads, which is what these hyperscalers get you. They get you in the downloads. It is it's not predictable. You don't know how much bandwidth are you going to use, and this is where they get you. And we decided awesome. not to charge not to charge for for downloads. That's the secret formula. And the and third there's example a, there's a third example, right, Andy? The third, the third example it was a, a big, uh, large customer, a food distribution company, over five thousand employees. Everything was on prem. Everything was VMware. Um, and they decided to move into the cloud. Management decided not to spend any more money in infrastructure, and they decided to move into the cloud with a, with a, a full feature service uh, uh, vendor. And they approached us, and we actually could. We what we did is we actually installed the hypervise uh, hypervisor level type of agents. We migrate all the virtual machines from VMware in one single move into the cloud. Everything was easy. Um, took time because of the, the internet connections and the, and the big giant uh, volumes they had, but it, it was nothing but time waiting to just bring all the data. We sync the, the applications and they just fell over. Everything is seamless. If you actually bring a virtual machine from any VMware into OpenStack with virtuoso technology, we can actually transform that format and boot it up as, as an open stack machine with no errors. And his touch actually did all the, the transformation on the fly and we boot it up in the virtual class. Those are three real life examples that we can actually apply this technology from well, from these two partners, Virtuos on his touch. Next. That's awesome. Um, what we, what, what we discover in the in these last few years is customers are not looking into the migration uh, uh, just out of the out of the gate. What they are actually are doing in our experience is they are asking us for some kind of backup or some kind some kind of replication services into our uh, our cloud. Uh, a lot of customers they they decided to stay on prem using their VMware cluster uh, as production, but they wanted, they decided to start moving into the cloud, um, first with the backups and second with the DRs. 
once the, our customers realize that it is stable, it is fast, it is easy, and it's, it's um, less expensive, we are uh, seeing that now, after those few steps, they start migrating all their production loads into our cloud. Same technology. Uh, with his touch, we can actually attend the three levels of, of support. Uh, DR, backup, and then migration, or the other way around. We can migrate, we can set up DR um, environments, uh, and then we can set up uh, our backups using the same technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and th this is probably the most successful use case that I learned from you, Carlos, and, and your customers is, sure, each of us, each of you, are going to have customers who are coming to you saying, I need to move my production workloads from point A to point B. Traditional opportunity. But when we look at alternative opportunities where they want to earn your trust, they want to establish some credibility and validation, this is a truly agnostic heterogeneous, uh, uh, not agnostic, heterogeneous opportunity in that, Carlos. I saw you time and time again to be able to go to small, medium, and enterprise customers who have workloads across the world and across the hyperscalers and say, let me show you how I can provide hosted disaster recovery as a service for your top 10 VMs, for your top 10 workloads, right? That is, that is correct. And with this promotion that you're actually um, putting together with uh, with Histach as, as a joint venture, um, it's going to be free. Yeah. Any any MSP that wants to bring their customers into their environments and they are using uh, Vitu also, I, I'm talking out of experience here too, it is free. Uh, what And it works. It works. It's not that difficult. Um, they have a really good uh, training programs from both companies, Histach and Vitu also. They can teach companies like us, MSPs, that they, we, they, we came from the hardware side of the business and and we move into the cloud side of the business and we learn and now we are uh, we are self-sufficient and we are capable and we can do all of these uh, offer all these services using these two incredible technologies yeah imagine, and imagine Carlos, how many how much you could have saved if it were for free already two years ago instead of always sending me the pills <laughs> for the license That's yeah. That is a conversation that we will have off the record. But yeah, right. now it's free. Now it's free, and it is a great, great uh, promotion to to service providers like us. And, and really, a big part of this is about winning the workload battle. What we hope to do by bringing you an alternative cloud, open stack based platform, is to be able to again complement what you and your customers are doing extend the opportunity but to have agility and to have more options and whether you start as a dr target as a backup target ultimately to be able to earn their trust so you the partners can take over and and uh, drive consumption for more and more uh workloads yeah another another point i want to make if a lot of customers they are thinking about moving into hyperscalers hyperscalers they are great companies i'm not saying and nothing bad about them, but they get you. Once you sign a contract with uh, in a in reservation mode, they get you for 12, 12 24, 36 months. Uh, yeah. Working with Virtuoso, we learned that this is um, pay as you go. You don't have any shackles. You can leave any time. You bring your loads using HISTAS technology. You don't like the service that we uh, uh, Virtuoso base providers offer. You can go any, anytime, anywhere. You don't have any long-term contracts. That's that's something to think about as an end user and as an MSP too. Yeah, and, and Andy, sorry, the, the, this has been a good discussion, I hope, for, for the, the audience. The last thing I'll say is if you have customers or you yourselves are in the middle of making the final decisions to move a large workload or, or set of workloads into one of the hyperscalers, do not underestimate the power of, of doing one last check and looking at what the financials are 
from one of our or yourselves as a CSP and building this out across your infrastructure with Virtuoso Stack, okay? Because what we found, literally we have probably half a dozen deals right now where they were going to move 30 terabytes of RAM into Azure or 24 into AWS, or they're internally not sure, do we use AWS, do we use Azure, do we use GCP or whatever it may be. And what we're finding is the traditional service provider leveraging Virtuoso is able to go to them, two things. One, you're gonna be able to offer 25 to 49% savings, depending on the instance types, the commitments and the reservations, across over any of the hyperscalers. I mean, Carlos showed you a 75% example, but on average, what if your customer could save 25 to 49% instead of number two, leveraging our entire platform stack, you, you're going to be able to offer them not just IS, but PaaS, DevOps, and a far more mature uh, production ready portfolio that's gonna bring more value, soft costs uh, and intangibles. So I just want to don't be afraid mention, to have those discussions, even if it's at the last minute. Sorry, Carlos. I just want to mention one thing. We are coming from the integration part of the business. We were an integrator. And when we actually decided to jump into the cloud, we, we talked to the hyperscalers and we said, we want to resell your products. The margins are not there as an integrator. Uh, we couldn't survive with 3% margin from AWS or 6% margin from Azure. And then is when we decided to actually team up with Virtuoso and Histat and said, we are going to become a service provider and we are not going to resell somebody else's products at 3%. It is no money there to be made. That's yeah. why if we, we invested in the clusters and in the infrastructure and the data centers, but it, it was money well invested. Um, and that is something to think about. Yeah. And, and that was also part of your company transformation going from a reseller of hardware or a VAR to a cloud service provider. Correct. That transformed your profit margins Correct. from Cor what? Correct. Single from, digit? From single digit to, to, yeah, double digits, in some cases, triple digits. Yeah. Now you, you own the service. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. So, Andy, I, I know we want to get to some questions here and, and uh, wrap it up, but uh, in terms of how to get started, if you could go back, uh, Andy, um, sure. regardless where you are on your journey or the type of company that you are, a, a, a CSP, an MSP, an HSP, an ISV, an enterprise end user, please just take the time, send an email to migration at virtuoso.com. That will immediately lock you in and qualify you for the leverage and the free use of the Histex utility, regardless of your journey and opportunity. We'll provide you a form to fill out a little bit more details. And then again, depending on your use case, we'll hear from you. But but please, at a minimum, if this is resonates with you and if if you think this may provide value of any kind, send the email. We, we would love to connect with you. Uh, and with that, Andy, uh, thank you, Carlos and Ed, and I believe we'll open it up for questions now. Splendid. Guys, really appreciate the input as well, and I'm uh, sure you've already answered quite a few questions uh, that our audience may have. But let's have a look. Um, so, um, top of the We're list We're seeing a Word have... document, Andy, on your screen. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I do apologize. I do apologize. Just one second. We're good now. Just a second. I don't know. Oh, it's back. Right? Gone? Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. So, um, first of all, let's have a look. So, uh, David and Edwin, um, uh, can we have both worlds, VMware and Virtuoso, working together to move from some VMware to Virtuoso and back if we need it? Go ahead, Ed. Yeah, of course. So you mean uh, we are aware of all the both and then going back? Yeah, you can switch. Look, migration, we don't care in which direction it goes. You can migrate uh, every week if you want 
to Virtuoso and back again. I don't think that Virtuoso would uh, fancy this uh, model, but... Uh, we, would, um, we wouldn't fund outside. it, certainly not. No. <laughs> Yeah, but, but of course you can. And you can keep your VMware production workloads running and remain them in synchronization with your Virtuoso Cloud Stack until at which time you want to make a cutover, right, Ed? Yeah. And, we have, and, we have, and we have done it many times. Customers yeah. that they were just testing and they decided to come back to, to VMware. And then finally, they, they moved back again to OpenStack for good. This is the point. Yeah. If you try something like this as a customer, uh, you don't know if the expectations the sales guy raised really get met. So you want to have uh, an option to roll back without any uh, big issues, you know. So in this case, just uh, try it out. You don't like it. Let's roll back. Easy as pie. Yeah, Correct. exactly. Um, and how long does it take to uh, to do a replication? And uh, does it have any impact on the business? Any downtime? Uh, question oh, for who? Yeah, no. well, this is our our it's a math problem, uh, and our experience is a math problem. It depends on how big is the volume of the virtual machine, or the volume actually you're moving, how fast of the internet connection you have. But it's a math, it's a math, like David said. Just make your calculate the the size of your volume, the performance of of your internet connection, and that's it. You make your numbers. Um, yeah, we have, we have such a calculator actually, which we can provide. We see exactly, depending on the bandwidth and the data volume, how many days, hours, minutes, and seconds it would take. And it just takes as long as it takes, but it doesn't matter because anyhow, it's in the background. There's no impact on the on the no downtime, no impact on the business. We have all the options you need, like uh, we do uh, compression, uh, we do uh, run optimization, deduplication. Don't send any empty blocks twice. We uh, we offer throttling quality of a service, so you don't have to dedicate all the bandwidth. You can keep other stuff as well. So this is a really a standard process for us. Yeah. And but in, in terms of, hold on, sorry. In terms sure. of process and tooling, if you're already a virtuoso partner, how fast can you, you start leveraging this? Send us an email and we can have you the utility this afternoon. Yeah. So go ahead, and Carlos, it, I cut you off. No, don't worry. It's a, it's a really powerful product. Is that you, you can actually, if you only have one internet connect, one connectivity into your data center, you can actually set up thresholds. You can actually put scheduling. Uh, you're going to actually maximize the, the the bandwidth at night. You're you're going to actually do it without impacting at all your production. Okay. Next. So so um, you've already answered this question question about downtime. There's no downtime. Uh, at all, uh, with all the these, well, down well, at, at, at cutover, cutover. There's a yeah. reboot at cutover, right, of Carlos? Uh, it is yeah. no down, no downtime. Once you promote in the new environment, yes, it's, 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 it's a reboot. But, but it's, it, it's not downtime in migration. So that's important. Look, there's no downtime during the replication. When you do the cutover, the final migration, yeah. obviously yeah. there's downtime. But by default, yeah. it's very short one because. First of all, it's predictable. It's no surprise, surprise, because we do test migrations and the yeah. real productive migration is exactly the same scenario like test migrations. So we can tell you, tell your customer that he we need a maintenance window of 30 minutes, one half hours, two hours. So we know how long it will take. We can calculate this. And by default, it's very small because what do we do in the cutover? We just pull the very last incremental and then boot the machines. And we can yeah. easily migrate hundreds several hundreds of machines in a single hour yeah that yeah. that is correct if you if you want to be a little more technical the first thing you do with this hitch that technology is you you replicate the network the topology of the, the network and once you have the network ready you bring the the, the volumes and that's it yeah that's like yep. that was it excellent. awesome excellent so unlimited test migrations as well what kind of snapshots uh, do we get? Uh, application consistent or fault consistent snapshots? Uh, you can you can get uh, applications consistent snapshot. Uh, you have the the volume uh, sh shadow services activated within your S. Hmm. It's, it's fully uh, consistent application uh, snapshots and replication. Okay, great. And. Um, What's the difference between uh, an internal and uh, an external agent? Uh, uh, yeah, we talk about that. Internal agent is when you actually install the agent at a, 
a hypervisor level, meaning the agent is going to see all the virtual machines living in that vCenter, let's say VMware, and it's going to bring all the virtual machines at the same time. Uh, external agent is you install the agent uh, at, a, at a OS level, you bring one machine at a time. Excellent. It's, okay. it's faster. It's faster in the hypervisor level, but some people don't have access to the hypervisor. We went through that okay. before. Okay, great. Um, how many minimum nodes uh, are needed for virtu Virtuoso to, uh, to work? Uh, oh, in fault tolerance mode. And that's how it. Many, for, for, minimum, well, I, minimum nodes for fault tolerance, effectively. Well, so, so if we're talking about virtuosos cloud stack and building your own hyper converged software defined cluster we will want to start with a minimum of five nodes okay. which can be which can be deployed on your existing infrastructure obviously new infrastructure but if if we truly want to address as is standard with any solution in the world true ha in a hyper converged topology you would want to do five nodes, not three, technically. But yeah. you, you can do three, but it's not. It's risky. Yeah. But yeah. It technically works with three. Yeah. 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 I'm so the great news so is, you've got five nodes in your existing environment. You can quickly deploy and build your OpenStack all production-ready cluster, and now immediately have a target where we can start migrating workloads into. Excellent. Sorry, Ed, Excellent. were you going to say something? Ed? No, no, thank you, David. Uh, just my noise okay. was uh, kind of. Uh... <laughs> All right, you're allowed. Um, what about support? And um, what's what's our support story? Our yeah, I mean the. I can I can I can talk as a. Yeah, here's one cast, of our partners. As, as a customer, we. Uh, it was a problem with us learning the technology. Once we learned the technology and we could communicate the problems better, uh, it was a great support from both companies. We we, can, we have no complaints about support. Yeah. They were but always this, this always is fully there for us. supported, fully supported by Virtuoso with a proven reference architecture and the proven use cases. Unbelievable back end relationships between Virtuoso and Histex. So it's it, it it we're all about the wow experience. We're the one-stop shop to support you through all this and escalate as and if necessary. Fantastic. And just going back to the, the um, fault tolerance, high availability, you mentioned five nodes, but um, uh, plus management machines on top of that, or was that inclusive? No, no so, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know some solutions, including one that we acquired last year, delineates between management nodes and compute nodes, but Carlos, you were going to answer, so I'll let you answer. No, no, it, it is it, it all nodes are a production and management nodes. Yeah, yep, excellent, great. Well, I think we have come to the end of our questions. Um, yeah, that's, well, that's there, great. there was the one question I told you to ask if nobody asked it, and that is we are offering <laughs> free migration. I can ask, are it. there can... any? We are, go ahead, Ed. David, one question. Is there a limit on the amount of free migrations uh, Virtuoso would sponsor? That is an awesome question, Ed, and, and what a great one to, to end on. And the answer is truly no. When we say we are ready to invest and to help you accelerate your time to market, to drive new consumption that you may not otherwise been able to capture, we are going all in. Virtuoso is covering the cost of the tooling, the licensing, all in with no limit, whether you want to get to your first 10 workloads, 100,000 or million, send an email. What's the email again, quick, Andy? Send an email and there is absolutely no limit on the amount of workloads we will help you migrate at our cost and investment into you. And it's nothing, it's nothing cheaper than free. Uh, well, not to my knowledge, no. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, Thank you, everybody. And listen, um, Carlos, um, Ed, um, thanks for joining David and myself uh, on today's you. session. And hopefully uh, our partners out there are suitably infused to um, drop us a line at migration at virtuoso.com. 
um, and we'll come back to you very quickly with uh, a few questions uh, to qualify what you're looking for, understand your environment, and then we can move forward. But yeah. thank you, everybody. We've had a, and especially to the, the guys in, in Asia PAC, uh, it's a late one for you, so really appreciate that. But uh, everybody, we really appreciate it, and we bid you a fond farewell. Thank you very thank much. You. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, all. Bye bye.